as you can see I'm using on a Cisco Catalyst switch uh, 2950 Oops. Um, Cisco Catalyst switch 2950 okay probably it's gonna pop up again here you can see it now I forgot my password so I'm going to show you uh, how to make recovery password I mean how to how to do password recovery for Catalyst Switch 2950 series and 2960 series as I noted on this first unplug the power supply from the back of the switch unplug the power supply from the back of the switch second press and hold the mode button on the front of the switch then what happened let's see okay as you see that the prompt is changed and then as the as some step when I just plug back in the prompt is changed and then when I release the mode button the assistant LED uh, lights blinked amber and then 10 solid grains it's not I'm waiting to get a solid green it's just blinking uh, amber so I'm waiting to get the solid green but now it's the promise already changed so let's let me type uh, flash initializations I think that's what it was to stand for honestly I'm not sure I think that's what this stands for. Yeah, flash initialization. This is to initialize the flash memory. Okay, now on the another prompt, I'm going to type the load helper. Then, um, dart flash to know, um, Oh wait, I do not need, uh, I should not, I should not forget the column where I type that command, let's see, column. Alright, so I could see the, see the directory, which is uh, in, in, in the flesh, there are, the, there are the directories, and then you can see some Unix extension, I mean this, And there's some um, file names on in the flash directory. Let's rename flash. So we need to uh, rename the configuration file. So uh, rename rename configurations. You have find g dot text to I think I need to press enter oh no okay um uh, rename text to flash config dot o o means that's like empty empty configuration is fine because the password we forgot it's uh, in the config dot text file so we just need to rename it. We just need to rename it so that uh, instead as we as we put in the config.o that's so that it's it's 
override the new configuration file so, I know CMD maybe the syntax is wrong so text this works it doesn't show any prompts that means it is correct then uh, we need to boot boot the switch which is on this step once the switch asks whether you want to enter the configuration dialog and no so is it asking for that I'm just still waiting no So it's, it's like normal boot up. So we're n now waiting for uh, privileged mode prompt. Which is right now we are on privileged mode. So let's type anywhere. So we are now on. Uh, oh, I mean, we just we just enter in privileged mode. This is uh, this. So uh, we just entering on the privileged mode. So let's rename back to the. Let's rename our current configuration file back to uh, configura configuration dot text file. So we named before our configuration. Oh, now we just need to rename back to the configuration talk text file so let's type the rename the station file name now we press enter and then um, Whereas we need to copy the configuration file in back into the flash memory, so, so let's type the copy copy flash Okay, this is the, that that command is is to uh, copy the our uh, configuration file back into in, into the flash memory. So uh, now, so now we we have a um, regular prompt. So we are we just the configuration file is now reloaded. It's it's reloaded already. Configuration file is now reloaded. Just just the prompt set, you know. Uh, and let's enter the configuration file just to uh, just to change the password as we need it or whatever we can do. Now it's done. So we are on a normal normal app and running uh, mode you know switch mode thanks